You've heard me talk about Royal Caribbean's drink packages. You've probably read about Royal Caribbean's drink packages. Heck, you might have even seen the drink packages on Royal Caribbean's website. So how does it work? And I bet you you got some questions about it. Well, today I'm answering as many of the top questions about a Royal Caribbean drink package up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. I really can't think of a cruise add-on that is more popular than Royal Caribbean's drink package. After all, it offers the opportunity to have, well, as many drinks as you like on board your cruise, and that includes alcoholic drinks if you purchase a drink package. So inevitably, that spawns a lot of questions, right, about how it works, what you can do, who needs to buy it, how much it costs, and a variety of other questions that are just, quite frankly, common among a lot of people who either never done a drink package before or are thinking about doing a drink package. So today, I wanted to tackle all the important Royal Caribbean drink package questions that you may have. So let's start with the most obvious, what is a Royal Caribbean drink package? Well, a drink package is basically something that gets you unlimited drinks, including wine, premium and frozen cocktails, to beers, fruit juices, and even water on board. Drink packages can be purchased on board the ship or reserved before you set sail. The drink packages are honored at any bar or lounge, the Windjamer, main dining room, or even private destinations like Perfect Day Coco Key or Labadee. There are two exceptions to where the drink package doesn't work, and that is the mini bar or room service. And beverage packages are available on every single Royal Caribbean ship, although some sailings may not offer it. Typically, these are charter sailings. But on board, the drink packages are available for purchase throughout the voyage with at least four days remaining. So if you're on a seven-day cruise and maybe you don't want a drink package the first day or two, you can still purchase it as long as there are at least four days left in the cruise. And yes, if you like to buy a drink package later on in your sailing, you're only going to pay the prorated rate for the remaining days left. But if you purchase any drinks beforehand, those will not be included with your drink package purchase. No matter which drink package you purchase, you cannot share them with other people. Everybody must have their own drink package in order to take advantage of their benefits. So let's break down the three types of drink package, starting with the deluxe beverage package. And the deluxe beverage package is your unlimited alcohol package. It includes unlimited drinks and options all cruise long. This includes cocktails, spirits, liquors, beer, bottled still and sparkling water, wines by the glass, fresh squeezed juices and non-alcoholic cocktails, premium coffees and teas, fountain sodas, Coca-Cola freestyle machines, and of course, a Coca-Cola souvenir cup is included as well. The deluxe beverage package includes any item up to $13 in value, plus you'll receive a 40% discount on bottled wines priced up to $100 and 20% discount on wines priced above $100. The Royal Refreshment Package is basically a non-alcoholic drink package. It includes fountain soda and refills at any venue, Coca-Cola Freestyle Beverages, Coca-Cola Freestyle Cup, non-alcoholic cocktails, including mocktails, Johnny Rockets milkshakes, bottled still and sparkling water, premium coffees and teas, and fresh squeezed juices. And then finally, you have the Classic Soda Package, which includes, well, just soft drinks, fountain soda and refills at any venue, Coca-Cola Freestyle Beverages, and Coca-Cola Souvenir Cup included. There are no daily limits to the drink packages, and you can get as many drinks as you like, one drink per order per person, and as I stated earlier, the drink package benefits are only for the person who bought it. So, can I order multiple drinks at a time with an all-inclusive beverage package? And the answer is no. It's a personal package, so only one beverage per person will be served. Any guest that wishes to purchase the alcoholic drink package, which is the deluxe beverage package, must do so for all guests of legal drinking age in the same stateroom. Next question is, are gratuities included with the Royal Caribbean beverage package cost? And for most sailings, the beverage package includes gratuities of 18%, which are added at the checkout when you're buying the drink package. When you go look at it, especially on Royal Caribbean's website, when you're purchasing it, you'll see the cost of the drink package. And that's something called the service charge, which, yes, includes the gratuities for any drinks you purchase with the drink package. Of course, if you'd like to, you can still tip on top of that if you so choose. So how do you purchase a Royal Caribbean beverage package and how do you cancel it? You can purchase a beverage package up to 72 hours before you sail, either online on Royal Caribbean's cruise planner website, or you can purchase it on board, or of course you can call in to purchase it before the cruise. A sticker will be placed on your CPAS card for identifications, that way the crew members know you have it, and of course they can still scan your card to verify you have a drink package. You can always change your mind with a drink package purchase up to two days before your sale date, and that purchase price is 100% refundable. Once on board, though, refunds will be credited to your account via an onboard credit, not an actual money back to your credit card. And any partial consumed portion of the package will be charged at the full price. 
This leads me to one of my favorite tips about the drink package price, which is if you buy the drink package and then a day or a week or a month later or whenever, anytime before your cruise, you see a better price, you can cancel your drink package immediately via the cruise planner website and then rebook at the lower price to take advantage of it. In fact, it's always a good idea to book a drink package as soon as you know you want it. So that way you can guard against a price increase, but still take advantage of a price decrease if it occurs later on. A really cool feature of any Royal Caribbean drink package is the access to the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. If you haven't seen these yet on land, they're really cool. A Coca-Cola freestyle machine can dispense over 100 different soda and flavor combinations in one easy to use package. Basically, if you have a deluxe beverage package, the Royal Refreshing package, or the soda package, you have a souvenir cup that you can use with the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. In order to use the freestyle machines, you just need to purchase one of these packages and then you get one of these cups and it's pretty simple. The cup has a special chip at the bottom of it, which activates the machine. All you need to do is go up to the machine, put your cup into there, and then choose from one of the combinations and dispense it. The freestyle machines are only available to somebody who's purchased a drink package. You don't need to carry your souvenir cup around with you around the ship if you just want to grab a cup of soda or a can of soda somewhere around. But if you want to use the freestyle machines, you need to have the cup for that. So don't lose it. Now, Coca-Cola freestyle machines are currently available on a number of Royal Caribbean ships, but not all of them. Here's the list of ships that have the freestyle machines. Adventure of the Seas, Allure of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas, Enchantment of the Seas, Explorer of the Seas, Freedom of the Seas, Grandeur of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Independence of the Seas, Jewel of the Seas, Mariner of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, Oasis of the Seas, Odyssey of the Seas, Quantum of the Seas, Ovation of the Seas, Rhapsody of the Seas, and Symphony of the Seas. And yes, there's more than one location around the ship. Usually you'll find some on either the Royal Promenade or the Royal Esplanade. You'll also find them in the Windjamer and other locations around the ship. Perhaps one of the most common questions about a Royal Caribbean deluxe beverage package purchase is which liquors are included with your package. And basically, it's everything except for the super top shelf liquors that are out there. So there's a wide variety of drinks that are included. And if you're thinking about what is or what is not included, unless you really specify a very top shelf brand, it's going to be included. So if you ask for a Bloody Mary a mojito, a pina colada, no problem at all. Those will all be included with your drink package. Now, Royal Caribbean tries to give an idea of the type of liquors included with a deluxe beverage package. And I'm going to list some of these over here to give you an idea. But truly, unless you're ordering like Quavassier, you're going to be fine with this. As an example, you've got vodkas like Absolute, Belvedere, Grey Goose, Stoli, and Tito's all included there. Rum, Bacardi, Bacardi 8, Captain Morgan, Malibu, Miami Club, and my all-time favorite, Kraken, included there as well. For gin, aviation, beef eater, Bombay, Sapphire, and botanist are included. If you're a tequila fan, 1800, Avion Silver and Patron Silver are included. Scotch fans, you've got Dewar's 12 Year, Glenn Fetich, uh, Johnny Walker Black, and Glenn Levitt. For whiskey and bourbon and rye drinkers, you've got Buffalo Trace, Canadian Club, Crown Royal, Jack Daniels, Jameson, Maker's Mark, Whistle Pig Rye, Cognac, you've got Hennessy and Remy Martin are included. If you like Spike Seltzers, Truly is included there. Of course, there's a wide variety of beers, both imported and craft, available on board. Wine by the glass is also served. And, of course, we also have non-alcoholic beverages included as well. Now, if you're wondering, you cannot purchase a beverage package for selected days of the cruise. The drink package, when purchased, is available for the length of your cruise. So as soon as you buy it, it's for the rest of the days. You cannot cherry-pick days that can be used for that. And lastly, can you use your drink package at Starbucks kiosks on board? The answer is no. Drink packages are not honored at any Starbucks kiosk on board. This is a place that actually has the Starbucks sign out front with the mermaid logo. But you can use your drink package at a place like Cafe Promenade, which serves drinks kind of like Starbucks. They have macchiatos and lattes. That's fine, but you can't actually go to a Starbucks kiosk and use your drink package benefits there. So there you have some answers to some really common questions about Royal Caribbean's drink packages. Are they worth it? I didn't talk about that one. Well, that really depends on you. I think they're worthwhile, but it really ultimately boils down to can you drink enough during your cruise every day to make it worthwhile? For a lot of people, the answer is yes. For other people, the answer may be no. So you don't need to get a drink package, but it really comes down to how much you're willing to drink. You're on vacation. It's different than when you're at home. And for a lot of people, the idea of having a fixed price and the convenience that comes with a drink package is all they need. For other people, they already know they're not going to drink nearly enough to make it worthwhile, so they'll just drink drinks on a a la carte basis. Let me know in the comments below any questions I might have missed about a drink package, and of course, what your thoughts are on a drink package purchase. I'd love to read those as well. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications. That really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm 
This has been Matt from RoyalGreenBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.